Hello, this is Paleko Padge and welcome to another Padge Plays Indie Edition with the game Donuts and Justice by Fob T Interactive. Now, what is Donuts and Justice? Well, it is a 2D shoot 'em up based on two cops set in the 80s. It's, it's very sort of infused in sort of 80s action genre films in general, so very brainless, very tongue in cheek and just a lot of fun to play. Now, I've actually got to the third level on this, which I was, because generally I like to come into these games fresh headed, not play them too much, because I don't want to get too far in. I like to be surprised on what's going on uh, as you play it. And uh, I, I just started it up last night just to see how it recorded really, because I, I have tried to record a game on my list that I got from Steam, uh, from the Summer Sales, and found that the FPS was so rubbish, I just cannot make a recording of it. So I wanted to test it with this game before going any further. And uh, I liked it so much, I ended up playing the first three levels. <laughs> so uh, um, that didn't quite go quantum plan, but the fact that I just got lost in the game and enjoyed it is obviously a good thing. So I am going in knowing the first few levels, so I figured we'd just play it through. It is on easy mode because I am no shoot 'em up extraordinaire when it comes to games like this. I'm, I'm, I can't handle the mayhem which goes on so i've had to knock it down to the easy setting or the thumb sucker setting as it it's been proclaimed in this game which i'm fine with i don't mind being a sum a sum fucker <laughs> a, thumb sucker, a thumb sucker so um I, i'm just playing it for the for the giggles and for the story and uh, that's what we shall do now so we're going to crack on with a new game it is with a controller you can play it with keyboard and mouse but i just found it a lot easier to play with a controller so let's crack on old data will be deleted are you sure Yes, and we get to choose from Mike Riggs or Nick Gordon. So as you can see, it's your, it's your buddy uh, action film. Uh, I personally like to go for Mike Riggs because he's wearing some dainty, dainty shades. And nothing says 80s more to me than wearing some big aviator glasses and a pastel coloured shirt underneath a white suit. It's very Miami Vice, very Miami Vice. So uh, let's crack on. WTF? Welcome, officer. My name is Kelly and I will be your instructor for the, this course. Let me show you how the controls work. The Dabba 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 reminds me of not, uh, don't be a hero, is it don't be, don't be a hero? Not a hero, not a hero. Press arrows to move. I tend to use the analog stick, so there we go. Spinning around, figure of eight. Good work, smiley face. Press A and B to fire left and right, which is true. So B makes me shoot right and A makes me shoot left, but you are stuck in that in that uh, direction when you do do that so uh, you've got to be very very aware of which way you're facing many a time i've been killed whilst playing yesterday because i was facing in the wrong direction but hey oh and then yes we have x for grenade which is tip top excellent work officer nice i think you're ready smiley face also here's my phone number Ooh, dainty winky face Press Y to restart tutorial. I don't think we need to do that. Let's crack straight in. Old Town. So, as far as I've gathered off playing these. Oh. Get ready. Coppers about it. Oh, no. Ouch. Don't. I, I, I took the bullet on purpose because he's going to die. Oh, no. The copper's dead. That's it. We are now definitely. Well, we've got a motive. Much like uh, the criminals do to, uh, to take as many down as we can. Now, as you can see, as we are killing them, they are dropping police badges. Police badges opens up, from what I gather, oh, lordy, uh, opens up outfits and hats in the in the main menu. So we will check that out before we finish our playthrough. Now, you also have these... Uh, sorry. Multitasking is not good for me. Uh, you also have those hostages running around. Or should I say civilians? They're not really hostages because they're running around quite happily. And they are, well, just generally there to get in the way. And what happens is if you kill them on normal mode, which is what I started playing this game on, uh, you actually have a gun jam if they die. So it's, it's best to not kill them if you can. I haven't seen any problems with actually killing them. Oh, flame, flame fire. Uh, killing them on easy mode, but uh, hey ho, uh, who knows? Nice. So, yes. So, this is a pretty generic sort of. Oh, we're about to die. A, a pretty generic uh, 
level to start off with. Nothing too sort of 80s pastiche about this. Bar from the, the bikes, I guess. God damn it! See, and this is why I'm not good at games like this. I can't play them normally, let alone play them whilst trying to talk or comment, as it may be. So, uh, yes, don't kill any civilians. You get bad karma and your weapon will be jammed. Yeah, and there is a star system at the end of each level, so um, I presume it's a case of... Oh, dear. Go, go, go! Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Um, so it's um, it's a case of trying to get the best uh, the best score you can with the minimum sort of disturbances to killings of both civilians and cops. But although I've only ever seen the cops turn up in the first level. Now, as you can see, th there are a few tongue-in-cheek power-ups that you can pick up. Man is. Uh, we've got the, the badges, which I've explained. We'll open up things on the main menu, which I'll do at the end. Uh, but also you have the the mushrooms. The... Uh, oh, jeez. The, um, uh, the the big mushrooms, which are obviously taken from Mario. Uh, I believe that's sort of supposed to be like a, a, a drug which you, you take. And uh, it slows down time. So there's always that. Can't get that one. But then, as I said, this is on easy mode, and uh, it's, uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty crazy. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Now the donuts, from what I gather, managed to give you back. I think it's a quarter of a heart every time you. Uh, oh, whoopsie! Every time you uh, you pick one up, so it is obviously worth picking them up as you go. I'm not sure about the empty boxes. Oh lordy! Now the reason I'm not using my my grenades at the moment is because when you get to the end of this level which is a, a while yet uh, there is an actual boss and I just find it's a lot easier to, to save them up for that. I've never been truly overrun with enemies uh, generally the only time I ever get overrun is oh, flame fire, is um, by the bullets on the screen, it's not really the actual enemies themselves my god my god so yes Old Town. Now, I was having a think about this game whilst I was playing this yesterday. Trying to think of all the good 80s films which they are mimicking or at least trying to satir uh, satire, I suppose is the word. Satirise? Is that a word? Don't know. Don't know. And uh, the problem with the first level is it is a very generic level, so it, it's not really like... Stop it. So it, it's not really like you can uh, say, oh yes, this, this level's obviously been based on this film or that film. Which is fine. I guess everyone's got to start somewhere. I need that. What was it? Oh, it could actually be a half health. A uh, half heart you get back off that. Nice. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun little game. The fact it's got co-op as well is also very nice. Oh, it's got some uh, body armor, which I'm definitely going to need. Stop it! Uh, the one thing I would like to know, though, is every time you uh, you actually have a new power up that you pick up with the uh, the P bullets, it'd be inter it'd be nice to have a description on the bottom of the of the actual game to say what it is you've actually picked up. I presume it's the the Magnum I've got at the moment, the way it's uh, kicking ass. Oh, I swear this is going slow each time. Don't shoot! But this game is relatively cheap, and as I said, I just like, I like the fact it's uh, it's it's very sort of tongue in cheek. Nothing too serious. You see you see all these shmups out there, and I've never been one for shmups. I, I don't understand the whole wanting to play things, you know, and get have to get everything pixel perfect. The game's supposed to be fun, generally. But I suppose that's why generally I don't play these games. That I find them a little bit too. Too crazy. Too too much going on on the screen. I'm old. You know, it's, it's very hard to, to keep all this going. Oh, oh God. Sector clear. Oh, yeah. But we did it. <laughs> we did it. And I managed to rant all the way through. That in itself is an achievement, I feel. I got a fair few combos that time, too. Oh, three stars. Awesome. I, I, I can sell for that. Multitasking. So, warning. So here he is. Time to die! 
Oh, lordy. Now, thankfully, this guy, I'd never had much trouble with. The second boss I, I got onto was a bit more of a pain. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ouch, 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 ouch. I suppose, really, using the, um, the analog stick probably isn't the best as far as sensitivity is concerned. Maybe using the uh, the normal arrow buttons would probably be better. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing alright at the moment. Oh, onto normal gun now. Normal pistol. I might throw the old grenade, actually. Oh, facing the wrong way. And that's what I was doing the other day. Wasting grenades because I was facing the wrong direction. Got you. Blood. Everywhere. Blood everywhere. So there we go. On to the next. Chinatown. Pick a box gives you one of ten weapons, which we have all opened up. Now, get ready. Now, for me, this is... Well, I suppose the, the uh, normal ones would be... And the normal ones. Sorry, multitasking. It's very hard to get your words out when you're trying to do two things at once, uh, is uh, Big Trouble in Little China. But I suppose that there weren't many people running around with guns and samurai swords, so I don't know if this would be like a, a Bruce Lee homage, but I presume that would be more 70s and 80s. I think it was early 80s he died. Oh, lordy, I need all that. Yes, 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 I know. I'll say that as well. Oh, that's all right. He dropped a, he dropped a health. The uh, the damage justifies the uh, the means, I think, on that one. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Thank you for that. Thank you. Oh, lord. Oh, I needed that donut. I was going for the donut, damn it. I was going for the donut. Get ready. So, yeah, I suppose you could say Yakuza, but... I don't know, maybe hard boiled? Could that be could that be classed as, I think that was eighties, wasn't it? 80s action film. So you could probably count that. But I, I don't I can't think of many where action films where you just had countless samurai running around trying to kill you. I should take that empty box, I have no idea what's in it. Oh that's what we need. That's what we need. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. But yeah, I suppose, as I said, 80s films have generally a, a very, or I have a very soft spot for, for 80s films. Possibly because I was born in the 80s, so technically, I, as they came out, they, they were new. I don't know, I don't know. But they're just brainless fun. And I, I think there's a lot of games out there which... D uh, take themselves games. Yeah, I suppose games and films. They take themselves very seriously. Where really, it's, you know, people are just looking for a little bit of fun. And I, I think a game like this, you know, is very much in in that sort of ilk. Along with you know, like the um, Expender Bros, with all the action people and I suppose the actual game itself. Well, the, the, the game's name escapes me right now. I don't know why. You had Expender Bros, and then you had the, the actual paid one. But yeah, you had all the action, uh, well, I suppose 80s and 90s action heroes in that, and the fact you could swap in and out, and I don't know, I guess I got sort of that sort of vibe off it. Okay, I'm going to throw a grenade. Why not? Why not? Now, the other thing, I, I, I don't know if it's going to help or not, which I'll probably I'll try on the next death, is if I go back to the menu, I don't know if actually opening up anything with the badges that I've managed to get will actually make this game any easier. <laughs> because I am struggling right now. But I must admit, I must have played it for about 40 minutes last night and I only managed to get to level, uh, level 3. Although there is a bonus round after this, which is like a car chase sort of bonus round where they drop lots of money. Uh, I haven't really 
spent any money on anything. I think it's just uh, a case of accumulating it towards your, your score. Um, hopefully we'll see in a second. Oh, this is a new one and a very effective one. Ah, oh, I ran out. That was not good. <laughs> no, I don't want to retry. This is terrible. This is terrible. Right, so let's have a quick look at the uh, uh, the shop. That's what we're looking at, which is why. So, oh, it is money that you actually uh, you, you gain. So we've got 5,380 cash dollars at the moment, and we get to open up all this stuff. I have no idea what any of it does. Let's open one up and see what it is. Oh, we have a, a red hat. Hmm. Okay, should we go for something a bit more expensive? What's the next one? So there were 500, so that's 1,000, that's 1,500, and that's it. So what's that? A police officer's hat? Okay, that's, uh, I dig that, I dig that. Oh, now they're getting more exciting. That is a sombrero, is that right? I think we need to open up another sombrero. Pope's hat? Oh, I can live with that, I can live with that. So we've got enough just for one more 500. Fireman's hat? Okay, it's going to have to be Sombrero. It's going to have to be Sombrero. Let's try the game again. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's try the game again with a hat. See if that makes a difference. Oh, yeah. Dapper. Dapper. I don't think it makes any difference at all. But I look a hell of a lot cooler. You never saw Mel Gibson wearing one of these. That's for sure. He couldn't pull this shit off. Then again, unless I get to the end of the level, neither can I. Power up. Okay, why do I get a power up and nothing comes up? Tell me that. Tell me that much. Get back. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I should be trying to uh, kill the innocent. See, there's really no penalty on easy mode. And let's not beat about the bush. That's what I'm playing it on. That's what I'm playing it on. But these machine guns are a nightmare. Maybe it's a sensitivity thing. Maybe it's a controller sensitivity thing. No, no, getting sliced in half is definitely not a controller sensitivity thing. So, the <laughs> so there you go. That, that, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bore you anymore with my that's a lot of bullets uh, with me constantly failing on this this is Donuts and Justice and it's a lot of fun and please just if you take anything away from this video take away the fact that I'm usually not this bad but trying to comment and play on a controller which I don't usually do just does not work well for me so uh, but there you go it's, it's a relatively cheap game it's also two player split screen and uh, not split screen same screen so two player on the same computer so uh, if you've got a, a buddy it's it's a little bit of a giggle and it's, it's worth playing so yes yes please don't judge me for, for this <laughs> i never said i was good i just said i'd bring it to the channel so thank you for watching as always a like is appreciated and i'll catch you on the next one take it easy